welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's doing all right. Let's get this video started. So, I thought we'd just go for a little ride over the forest. Uh, if anyone's wondering where this is, this is in Hampshire, the new forest. Um, don't be shocked if you see any wildlife about, i.e. horses, I believe they're called livestock. Who knows? Anyway, this is the machine I'm on. This is my Keyway Superlight 125. I've been riding since April 2021 hence the legend plates. Um, I'll just give you guys a little walk around of the bike, I'll put those on. I know they're not even, it doesn't matter. Um, and these little mirrors from Amazon, if anyone's wondering. Um, I'm only keeping this bike for, hopefully, until January 2022, because I should have enough money by then to buy my bigger bike, as I've got my test, um, training dates and test in, December uh, we're currently in November obviously uh, so fingers crossed if I pass we'll be good to go so anyway this bike if no one's seen it before is a little bit different to normal bikes I believe Harleys have indicators left and right like this I think that's the only thing that's a little bit different let's get it started up is to take a little ride to Bewley. Let's see what it looks like now. This is one of my favourite roads in the area. It's not too twisty, but it's twisty enough. And behind me the road's closed, so there's no traffic coming through here, so you kind of have a little bit of fun. Looking at that sun, it makes me feel like it's later in the day, but it's not. It's coming into that autumn, winter sun type thing where it's nice and low. Are you going to flash me? Fuck it, let's go. Just going to hold my clutch in past these, I don't want to scare them. lovely bit of scenery yeah like I said somewhere over there this is the new forest in Hampshire on the southeast of England if anyone's wondering I know that quite a few Americans come over here to kind of have a walk around have a look at it uh, I think the only bit of history I really know about it is it was a hunting ground for one of the kings many moons ago, but that's all, all I know really. We take it for granted living over here because it's just we're used to it. Um, but if people come over from like different countries or different parts of the, the UK, they're like, oh, this is wonderful. And they're like, yes, yeah, all right. But my, uh, my other half, she's from South Africa and uh, Obviously, they've got they got proper animals over there, not just horses, cattle, sheep, and pigs that roam around. But she likes it. We're off to a little village called Bewley. There's like a river that goes through it. 
and uh, hopefully if we can get to it there's a little rope swing and a pontoon that's uh, on private land but if we're quick it doesn't really matter oh there's some pheasants there I believe they were males three males there might have been a female I didn't really see it bike away. My engine braking's not too strict so I can take my hand off and do uh, the full bike away. In the UK we just nod at each other. But I can come off the throttle and it doesn't lunge me forward like some bikes do. little cruise through the forest trying to maintain the speed limit <laughs> my sort of plan for this channel is I'm just gonna post videos of me riding about if my mates are with me my mates are with me um, I kind of miss the little uh, the sort of little bug that I used to get when I used to edit videos and I'm quite enjoying it again just fiddling around with some stuff um, if my mates are going to be out with me obviously we can switch perspectives and put the GoPro on different helmets uh, we might have to get their helmets set up with microphones but as you know these camera things are quite expensive so I've uh, made an <laughs> investment in it really if you think about it um, and we can uh, switch out the camera like I said and if they get microphones like put in their helmets then they'll be all right uh, yeah just kind of like our adventure of riding motorcycles because through the wonderful lockdown we all uh, decided to get motorbikes and get licenses two of my friends have got CBRs one's a 650F and one's a 500R I believe um, they went direct access and then me and two other of my friends have got CBTs, hence the legend plate. And we're planning on getting bigger bikes. I've booked my uh, three day direct access course for December the 12th, 14th, and 15th. Um, and we'll see how we'll go with that. I'm quite looking forward to it, to be honest. But the only thing that I really struggle with is getting used to the indicators being on one side. I know what it is, it's left, right and in to cancel. But I think that's my only sort of drawback because I know where these are without looking. So I'm gonna have to be a bit on the ball when I'm on a different bike. This here is Bewley Motor Museum. It's got all uh, old sort of cars and things used in films. It's got all the Bond cars if anyone's interested in that. If anyone knows a Mr. Bean, his little minis there. My upload schedule for this channel, I'm planning on one a week, <laughs> if the weather's suitable. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not choosing a specific day yet. I'm planning on sort of uploading on a Monday sort of in, uh, I don't know, about 7.30, but that's kind of the future goal. We'll get there when, uh, <laughs> when we get there. This is uh, Bewley. And some donkeys and swans. People come from all over to touch and feed the donkeys. You're not really supposed to. The wildlife organization go mental. Fluffy. This place is quite expensive to live. And even if you want to go to that place there for food, it's a bit dear.
absolutely can't wait to get a bigger bike. I'm not going to let anyone know what it is yet. Me and my mates know, obviously. We'll do a big reveal when I get it. It's most likely going to be a, a second-hand one. Because uh, the problem with buying brand new is you've got to... Oh, shit, my indicator's on. <laughs> the problem with buying brand new is you've got to... Uh, run the engine in and it's quite annoying so if you get one that's at like 6,000 miles you're laughing you don't have to waste money on all the services every couple of minutes right we'll stick it on here because this is where we're going see if we can leave enough room for the car behind me here we are See, it's his public footpath. So, we'll go have a look. Come on, you fucker, get out of there. This is Bewley River. Oh, fogging up. Got some ducks. We kind of got politely kicked out of here once for fishing, because you're not supposed to fish in this part of the river, apparently. Not that we caught anything anyway. I think there's any trout up here. Hooks like to fall out of their mouths. If anyone's got any uh, ideas on what they want to see from the channel, leave them in the comment section. I'm not going to be one of these ones that beg for likes and comments. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Hi. Oh, this is lovely. Oh no, we're going to have to do this. <laughs> I'm definitely going in. Oh, okay. Oh. It's probably going to snap. Oh. And we're spinning out of control. Oh. Oh. I'm dizzy. I'll go see the pontoon. My God, I've never seen it that deep. It's not... No, it's more of a, a pier. It's not a pontoon. A pontoon rises and falls with the tide. This is fixed. It's not very sturdy. Oh, I'm definitely going for a swim. <laughs> this is so dodgy. Yeah, when we came fishing here, the tide was pretty much out. You're probably about 10 feet in the air on the air or off the surface ah anyway like i said any ideas for uh content let me know drop them in the comment section do what you want in regards to that like button don't really care um but yeah thanks for watching take care of yourselves and we'll see you on the next one see you later